Welcome, this is the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 7, Torque and Rotation. This section is 7.M, Massive Pulley. Here you could read the scenario to yourself, but what is essentially happening is that this is getting unwind, and so the radius is getting smaller as it's rewinding because the mass is pulling this rope down, all right? So first of all, you're gonna write an equation that represents Newton's second law as applied to the mass, and estimate the tension. So let's take a look. Okay. So first of all, we should know that the, what the force of fr summation of all the forces in the y direction is going to be equal to mass of acceleration in the y direction. The two forces that make this up is going to be the force of gravity minus the force of tension is going to be equal to the mass times acceleration in the y direction. Okay. You should know here. Going up is FT, going down. Eh, I should make this at the center. All right. FG. Ah, I don't like how I, I did that. Ah, this should be bigger because, again, there should be a net going down. So the FG has to be slightly bigger. Okay. Then force tension. All right. So here it gives the problem. The slope, all right, when r is equal to zero, is roughly around 0 0.8 meters per second squared. All right, so let's take a look right here at one second. It should be at one, one second, it is at 0 0.8 meters per second. All right, that's what it means. Then so that's essentially what this is representing. Okay. And then at here at eight, let's say zero point right here is hold on. All right. So the reason why we calculate this, because this is essentially the slope. All right, and we know that the slope, sorry, the slope here, the slope of the speed and time here is going to be giving us the acceleration. Okay, so I can say here the first time interval that we have, Ft equals to zero. Okay, we could say that this is approximately let's say 0 0.8 meters per second, all right? Then here, when it is at, let's say t equals to eight is right here, all right? You would have to approximate the slope here. So it's very difficult to do, okay? And I don't think it's something that the AP physics test will actually give you, make you do, okay? So I'm just going to give you the value here. So the slope here is roughly approximately 0 0.3. So you could say the acceleration is approximately 0 0.3 meters per second squared. All right. So when you understand that the slope R equals to zero is approximately 0 0.8 meters per second squared. And then the slope here when t is going to be equal to i think eight seconds it was approximately 0 0.3 okay so this should be t all right here now you could get the force we should know that if you set up this it gets you um, uh, the force of let's say it was um, mg force of gravity minus force tension this is going to be equal to ma this goes to zero. Uh, here you have mg minus f. Um, okay, and this was the um, f normal force, right? So here you can get the acceleration, all right? Okay. So here it is going to be at the different values. So the first one is going to be at 0 0.8. Okay, that's the acceleration. This is going to be equal to roughly um, here. I think the mass was what? 
two kilograms. Okay, so it's two times ten minus two times uh, zero point eight. Okay, and this is going to be equal to around eighteen newtons. So during this time, so during at during the start okay the force is roughly around the force is roughly around 18 newtons that's being pulled next the it was mg minus f and the new force at the end was around 0 0.3 okay that was equal to 2 times 10 minus 2 times 0 0.3 and this is roughly around 19 newtons okay this is at at the end the force was 19 newtons that makes sense okay because the object is going to start um, unwinding all right don't worry about the calculation just understand how the force will increase over time okay why because the acceleration is going to increase why is it going to have more acceleration going to be increasing is because think about the object already going down okay the acceleration increases all right so your answer in part a should show the tension increasing slightly during the eight second interval right so do you see here so this force let me sorry force of tension forgot to label force of tension is increasing slightly why is that okay i say the gravitational force stays the same so the acceleration must be causing by a greater tension so subtract that from mg if the acceleration decreases then the tension must increase that is the reason why okay so if the tension increases the acceleration must decrease that is the reason why okay because they're opposite forces if you want to look at these notes okay lastly explain why the slope above the graph decreases slightly so here why does it here it peaks out basically so it it looks something like this so, okay if you continue it forever okay so in theory if you look at the slope it increases a lot then it starts decreasing okay then it basically reaches zero then here it decreases decreases a lot decreases super super fast okay this is how a parabola works like so it says why should that do that explain okay so i'm going to grab this so we can see it on the bottom okay but this is the slope if you look at the slope I can just write under it the acceleration okay so what are these are the acceleration so acceleration is a lot here okay acceleration is zero because again the slope is flat acceleration is negative the negative becomes a larger negative and this is the super large negative so as the rope unwind so here think about here from here to here the rope is unwinding okay so the acceleration is decreasing now since there is a smaller torque on the axis there is less rotational acceleration on the axis which decreases its linear acceleration so the rope cannot start um, stretch anymore it's right here okay that is the reason why the acceleration of the system starts decreasing over time okay all right there you go um, that's all your solutions for 7.m.